So in this series, we're going to talk about the periodic table and some of the trends in the periodic table and which is metals and which is not metals. So let's get into the discussion. Now, the periodic table, as you see, it's in the form of columns and rows. And rows are usually called, so a row starts, for example, from sodium here and ends at argon, and we call this a period. Now, columns are usually called groups, and we have group 1, group 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And some of these groups have certain names. For example, group 1 are called alkali metals. Group 2 is called alkali earth metals. The middle block right here is called transition metals. And group 7 is called halogens and finally group A is called noble gases now as you see if you move from left to right so as you move this way you move from metals to reach non-metals so the first three groups, group 1, group 2, group 3 are metals and the rest are non-metals. And obviously the middle block is transition metals. Now let's talk about some of the properties of group 1 metals. So now let's talk about group 1 metals. So, group 1 metals are known for their softness, so they're very soft, and therefore they can be cut easily with a knife. So, can be cut with a knife. Now, also, group 1 metals react violently with water, so they react violently with water. Let's see a reaction here. Let's take an example. Well, an example of that would be sodium reacting with water would give sodium hydroxide. So let's see. Sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. And this reaction is not balanced, but just I put it there to give you an example of how the reaction would proceed. Now let's move on to more properties. So as you go down group 1, you notice that the atomic mass increases. So we start with hydrogen, sorry not hydrogen, hydrogen is not considered an alkali metal. We start with lithium right here and it's 6 point something and then you end up with for example, rubidium, which is 84, so the atomic mass increases. And therefore, since atomic mass increases, boiling point increases down the group. So, this is some of the properties of group 1 metals. In the next video, we're going to talk about more of the periodic table and we're going to discuss transition metals halogens and noble gases so one thing to mention before we end this video is that the number of the groups so group one group two group three is related to the number of the outermost electrons for example sodium has an electronic configuration of two eight and one and you see here the outermost electron is 1 and sodium is in group 1. Same thing applies for all other groups. So this is just a hint. It's going to be useful for the next video. So stay tuned and good luck.